Hello, and welcome to my Outer Wild series finale. This has been the culmination of six months of very hard work and emotional distress, as is Outer Wilds' way. I can't believe that we're already here. I don't want this to end, but here we are. If you're going to watch this, though, I do recommend that you take some time and you make sure you've seen the entirety of the series so far. Purely because if you don't, you are going to be missing out on some pretty big references, some emotional notes that otherwise might fall flat and ruin the finale for you. So, do yourself a favour, take a few extra days, be patient. This isn't going anywhere. It's here for your enjoyment. This is my love letter back to you, the community. But I think that's quite enough from me. I've kept you waiting quite long enough. So thank you. And without further ado, welcome to the end. Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturx and welcome to the end of the line. This has been one hell of a journey. One amazing little adventure. And finally it's over. And that's okay. Everything is going to be okay. What we're going to do. I have a little bit of a plan of things that I want to go and do. A few things that I want to see. Before we dive in. Before we go for it properly. And we finish the game. There's a few people that I want to see. Um, and a few things that I want to do. There's not very many. But it should take a loop or two. To get around everyone that I want to go see. And say goodbye to. Because after I finish with this game, I, I know some people like to load up this game every now and then, and I'm sure I will. But I think for me, on my kind of personal journey with this thing, is that I want to put this to bed. When it's done, I want to have that willpower to put it down and to just have my memories. Which is quite a personal thing for me, it's quite a fitting ends to the journey I think and hopefully if you've seen the rest of the series so far you'll know why as well while we're here let's see if there's anything left to say with Slate there's our pilot ready to get this beauty off the ground what can I do for you hmm you know this ship's a death trap, right? Oh yeah, it's a death trap, but a really powerful death trap. But you suddenly care about safety now. 
I remember having the first conversation with Slate, and I was just, I was just amazed. I'm pretty sure the first thing I did, I just kind of, when I realized I could roast marshmallows, I was just here like, oh my god, marshmallows! And I still haven't really gotten any better at roasting them. And I don't know why Slate is just burning his stick. Slate, buddy, you need a you need a mallow. You've got plenty of them. Can do you think these are like vacuum sealed? I don't know why that never occurred before. I think they're vacuum sealed. They've got to be. Get extra mallow in your marsh, you know. I'm gonna miss this. I'm gonna miss all the little things, all the little details. Thanks for the ship slate. So without it, none of this could have been possible. Just don't blow up the next one. Wherever you end up building it. And here she is. We never named the ship. We never named the ship. I, I, I wanted that to be a thing. But I never found a fitting name for her. And I feel like now maybe would be a bad time to do that. We've had all these journeys without doing it. I feel like naming her now would be a bit hollow. Would be a little, a little too little too late. So, look at it all. There's things that we've definitely missed. Um, stranger, I'm looking directly at you, Abandoned Temple. But look how far we've come. Look at all of this. I can't even remember the first few things we probably would have discovered. It's been such a long time since the beginning of the game. I can't remember what order we even did things in. I know the, the signal locator was quite early on. Because that's when we first saw our supernova and I didn't have a clue what the hell was going on. But it's just... All of this happens so naturally and so... Emotionally as well. And I wouldn't have had it any other way. So there's a lot of this stuff that I would love to go and see again. But I'm not going to. Um, and you're all going to have to just deal with that. We've only got so much time. We don't have time to do everything. And that is absolutely a-okay with me. Now, the first place that I want to go... Who's the first person that I want to go and see? Who is the first person I want to go and see? There's two that I've got in mind. I know, I know, I know where we need to go first. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. My fella. It's interesting, and I would love to see your guys' kind of opinions on the matter. Who's your favourite Harthian? Who do you... maybe not who's your favourite, who do you relate to the most? Out of all the Harthians. Or out of all the characters, who do you relate to the most? I feel like me and Rebeck definitely have a few things in common. That kind of paralyzing fear of a thing, but being completely and utterly enthralled by it is something that I'm gonna I'm gonna have to deal with in my life. You know, if I do end up getting where I want to be. And I end up at sea. I'm going to have to face my fears. Because I'm deathly afraid of the ocean. I really am. But I want to go there. I want to sail. I want to see it and tame it. Or well, not even tame it. Because it's one of those things you just can't. But I'd very much like to try. God. Damn it, I love this thing. Can you all remember when I couldn't even get over here? And you were all screaming at me, telling me I need to learn to play the game. Actually, not many people said that. I think there was like one person who 
very heavily suggested that I relearn the controls and get a grip. And I did, so thank you. <laughs> Let's follow down here. Now, I want to know, is, are these set up by us, or did Rebeck do them? Did Rebeck find a bunch upstairs and pop them down here? I think they were probably here before and... Reby, baby, I hear you. I hear you, buddy. I'm not gonna slip like you did, and like I have on occasion. Hey, buddy. Do I have anything new to say? Oh! You launched, that's great. Great job, you. Well, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably already knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. What are you doing here, Rebek? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been a dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only... You've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anyone that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? I fell. Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck, I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable, instead of being sucked into what's below. Engaging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place for the best surface integrity. So I'm just gonna stay here until I'm ready to move on. That's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> That'd be... Yeah. I might have come all this way just to listen to you blather. And I am kicking myself right now because it literally tells you there you can use a little scout to detect the structural integrity of things, doesn't it? And I just whoop straight over my head. I learned something, Rebek. I learned so so much. I talked to a living nomai. This is new, I don't think I've said this one. What the that, that doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. I'm very excited for you, though. But please stop yelling. What? On the quantum moon, you said. There's a sort of living nomai on the quantum moon? Well, why didn't you say so? Oh, wow. Wow. This is the best thing that's ever happened in the history of Outer Wilds Ventures. I can't believe you talked to an actual nomai. Great. So I just have to... Go back in space, fly to quantum moon with zero visibility, find a spooky ruin, travel through a few different types of dangerous terrain to get there. Yep, that's that's not so bad. That's probably doable. I'll oh, rebeck. Can't remember which ones of these that I've even told you about. But I just thank you, Rebeck. You were the bravest out of everyone. Doesn't matter how scared you were, no matter how horrifying the world was, you kept going. And you got here. I know you didn't get to go there but you you are here you can see it you you you've made it you made it so much further than anyone ever thought you would or would ever give you credit for i don't know what the other's titles are i don't know if they have titles like bell spars you know he's, he's they're the first rebex the bravest My brave, bubbly, round boy. I'm gonna miss you so much.
And I know you'll always be here, and I can just load up and come and say hello, but I'm gonna miss you. Enjoy the hanging city. And I hope I put a smile on your face just one last time. I know I did. I know I put a smile on your face one last time. My job here is done. My job here is done. Now, on to the next. On to the next. Where was, how do I get back up? Oh, up there. I couldn't remember. I think Brit Lalo still has a very special place in my heart. I, I think this is the first place that we went to where I felt more wonder than I could even put into words. Like, I, the Hanging City. I didn't cry, I don't think, at the Hanging City, but I really genuinely felt the need to do so. Like, I felt so emotionally overwhelmed, but in the best kind of way. Now, we need to go somewhere a little different. A little bit more... Stressful in some ways, relaxing in others. If only I could see it. Ah! There you are, old girl. Hiding from me, as always. From my favorite place, one of my least. The Thalus of Obi always hits real hard here. Yeah. Now this is a place that honestly I wasn't planning on coming to in the finale for that exact reason. Oh no 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 no! I can go if you want me to. So, I was actually planning on coming here and speaking to a particular person, and that was the thing that I hinted at that some people maybe wouldn't be particularly happy about. But I've changed my mind, and I feel like it's only right to come and speak with our favourite little stoner. Wherever they're hiding. Where are they? Where is Gabrose Island? I know I could probably mark it and fly to it. But that would be too easy. When I don't do easy, I do difficult. I do obnoxiously difficult and frustrating for all parties involved. It was gonna... Ah! Bonfire. Can I get on there before we go? Bye-bye. Ah, yes. Another good landing. Stress-free vibes, guys. Stress-free. Hey, Gabro. If it isn't my time, buddy. How is space treating you this loop? I found something. Hmm. Is there anything new here? Found the source of the time loop. Wait, whoa, really? The Nomai carved out Ash Twin and built a time loop device inside? That is wild. Now we know what's causing the loop then. If it's caused by a device, that must mean it had to be switched on, right? Huh. Hey, what do you think would happen if you turn off the time loop? Like, there's a part of me thinks maybe you shouldn't. What with the sun blowing up and all. Then again, who wants to spend eternity being blown up by the sun? Well, I'm no time loop expert. I'm just going to sit here and ponder the intricacies of time and space. Maybe take a nap too, if I feel like it.
As long as you're okay with it, Gabro. Well, let's be fair, I feel like out of all of them, Gabro is the one who maybe would be the most okay with it. Gabro is the one that's going to be the most affected by this, and from us, because so far they've lived as long as we have in these loops. I've spent the same amount of time just here, chilling. Just thinking. Just taking the time to process things. And soon we're... We're effectively killing them. Permanently. I guess the Gabbro it's gonna just be like having a really long nap. That's probably the nicer way of thinking of it. They get peace, finally. Proper peace. Although, to be fair, I'm convinced that Gabbro is in a permanent state of bliss anyway. There's no way <laughs> they're feeling any stress about it. Unlike me, I have been stressing about this day for so long. I've been worried. I've been trying my best not to get too caught up in it. I've been ready for this for a while, I think. I've just not wanted to accept that. Let's do one more thing for Gabbro. Go out Gabbro style. So, that's two off the list. Now, trying to think what order we want to do this in. Let's go see. I know we have to go see. I know exactly what we have to go see. It wouldn't be right if I didn't. It would not be right. Now, let me do this. I need to find a certain other place. Where are you? Friend. Right, I know there's a quick way. Or there should be a quick way. Of taking this picture. But no, 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 no. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you know what? I'm just going to let it go. Let it fly till I'm on here. Hello, old friend. Now, I need to. Get to the north for some reason with down south on this one. Chip, are you okay? You coming for a walk? Walkies! 
I swear I could have done it from here last time, but... Right. Oh no, wait, wait. Lights off. Lights off. Bramble is a no-go. Timber Hearth was a no-go. I feel like Brittle was not... Now, if I just come back here, will this work? Or is it going to put me back at the south again? Are you going to put me back where I was? Ah, god dang it! Or is there another way? Or is this all walled off? Because I swear we did this here. Did we not? We did. But it's not going to let me. Why is it not going to let me? Okay, so there's got to be another planet that we can use then. It's got to be another one. I do, however. Ah, you fo you're following me. Right, so. This is a no go, so empty space is what we're after. And where have we not been yet? That could work. Water. <laughs> Genius. At least it's not just really obnoxiously deep water. Although... How the heck am I going to get through there? Because this isn't going to count as a North Pole. Although if I make... Oh, right, 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 right. No, right. I've got an idea. Now, if we go back to uh, the Twins, we're near the North. So it'll spawn us near the North. Right? No. Yes, right. Now we should be right up near the North Pole. Yeah. But now why is that there? Oh no, we should be good. Should be good. Yes, magic. Oh my god, it is literally bang on the North Pole. my quantum cheese I don't think it would taste very nice I don't think it'd be a sensory experience eating quantum cheese but it could be and could not be at the same time Can you remember me? I will get... So I think there were two... There was like one variation that I didn't do last time. And it was the two orange zones. I, I think I did just about everything else. These are the two tenets of Know My Philosophy. To seek out and to understand is our way of living. I, I don't have anything clever to say. I just... Thank you for guiding me. Even if it was unintentional. Believe in clues and breadcrumbs and... Sharing your thoughts. The universe is a scary place. I know that. It is. 
And when I was younger, I think I shared the same point of view. I used to be terrified of everything. The cold harshness of everything. But... Growing up. Maturing. I think there is a peace to be found in just accepting that things are, and that's okay. There isn't any wrongness in that. There isn't any malice in that. That is okay to see these things and to have emotions and to feel things and to be upset, to be scared, to be angry. But above all, to be kind and to be curious. To just be amazing. I don't know what's going to happen to use alarm. I don't know. I don't know if this place is protected. And honestly, I don't know if I even have the right to do what we're going to do. I know you guys were going to do it. If you, if you had the chance, you would jump at it. You would fight tooth and nail for the opportunity to do what I'm about to do. But for once, it's less that I'm questioning motives of the eye and more questioning the morality. We found some other people. They were very, very tall and they only had two eyes. And they were scared to near death by that thing. They saw something in it that you haven't, or maybe you did at a very young age. And I've been very conflicted about whether or not we should even go there. But, very wise, very old Nomai said something along the lines of, when you go on this pilgrimage, Take the memories of those before you with you. You honour them by remembering them, not by them being there. So I will take them all. And we'll be curious. And if even for only a brief moment, I could call you friend. The brief amount of time I have left would be all the better for it. Goodbye, Solana. And rest now. <sighs> the next two things we have to do are not going to be easy. The next two things have nothing to do with the story. They don't. They're not gonna impact anything. I know what we just done hasn't impacted anything. There's gonna be nothing new to be gained by doing what we're about to do, but I have to do it. I feel compelled to do this. And unfortunately, the first one involves me going somewhere I really do not want to go. But we're doing it regardless. Where I need to go? Where do I need to go? I 
I guess this can be seen as practice. Because we're going to have to go here later. Hopefully it all goes well. So it'd be a crying shame if I mess this up. But I have to do this. And it might not make sense until we get there. But just bear with me. When I was thinking about ways I was going to end this game, there were two places that I think I would have been quite happy with going to and just ending it. We are going to do the main ending. But I wanted to show you guys why on an emotional level I was quite prepared to just go in. to go to. Oh, I don't know. I feel like we should be okay now. I just want to show you guys why I was thinking the way I was and why I feel like what we're going to do now could have been a very unique very personal way to end the game. And I don't need to justify it, because at the end of the day, it's my journey. I could do with it what I want to, but I just want to really showcase you guys what we were going to do. But to do that, I have to get through here. God, I hate this. Steady does it. I don't have to felt about this. We have all the time that we could ever need. No, we don't. I felt about this. Right. Here we are. For almost the last time. But I have to be quite quick with what I'm gonna do. You're coming with me. I know someone who could have made very good use of you. Oh, no, 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 Where am I going? Back here. Up here. Yes, please. Thank you. Here we go. Right, um... That's not where I need to go. Where am I going? Why can't I see it? I don't know what all the different colours refer to. I'm looking for a very specific place.
You know what? We'll find it. We'll find it. But now I need to get the heck out of here. If I'm correct, I should be able to leave this now and just be back out in space. Otherwise, I'm going to cry. Because the bramble is weird. And physics break down. Yes! Right. Now. Where is it? 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 There we go. While we're doing that, it's going to remove the vessel from the hood so we don't get distracted. I feel like some of you might know where I'm going with this. This is somewhere I really genuinely wanted to take the warp core to finish the game. And again, would I have learned anything new by doing so? Not in the slightest. But emotionally, to me at least, this makes complete sense. And I don't know if anyone else has ever thought of this. Let's hope it's still there. I hope I can still remember where. We can hear the other escape pods distress signals, which gives me hope. Holy, are you still here? I'm unsure I'd survive in this place without you. I'm unsure how to be me without you. I could give anyone in this game a little more time. It would be Kosa. I'm so sorry. Because I know how that feels. I know the needs. To have more time, I know how it feels to lose. I tried to find them, but I... They didn't make it. And I hope you found peace with that in the end. I don't know what happened to you. I there's no, there's nothing else. There's no other records. I just hope you found a way to continue being you. Because it's easy to give up. It's easy to let go. It's easy. be pulled down into the depth with that kind of thing and I I know I just 
just hope you didn't give up. This is the best I can do now. This is... My hands are tied. I know for a fact you will have never forgotten about me. And if it's any consolation, I'll never forget about me too. I need to go and there's one more person that I need to say goodbye to <laughs> and I really don't want to but this game is about letting go it's about accepting the end and I need to accept it. I just hope I've got enough time. Hello, old man. It's been a while. And I'm sorry for that. We used to talk a lot more often, but lately I <laughs> haven't had the words. We miss you so much. I miss you so much. I 
I know. I wish I could have had more time, but I. I don't begrudge the time that we had. And I know some people wish they had more time, and they wish they had time with you when, it, when you were here. And I know they're stubborn, and they won't ever show that. But if there's one thing I can say, I can say the time we had was time well spent. There was so much more to see. But what we did see was just incredible, wasn't it? We saw mountains and oceans. Sunrises and sunsets. We found beauty in places that most would completely overlook. And through it all, you kept looking out for us. You kept being that pillar that while sometimes we probably forgot you were here, but you weren't at the front of our mind. kept watching your supporters regardless. And then you were gone, eh? Some days it still feels like I'll turn around and just be here. And after everything, I am so, so scared. Not that you'll slip from memory, not that one day I'll forget to recall your face. I'm scared that one day I will just simply forget to remember you. And when I feel the end drawing in, when I feel that cold embrace, when I feel scared and alone, I just remember what you'd say. You'd tell me it's okay. It is all going to be okay. Thank you for everything you did. And goodbye. Now we have the end. It's here, finally. Not finally. It's here, sadly. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. 
It's been such a long time coming, and now... We're here. I kind of feel a bit hollow. I think it's finally sunk in that the journey is almost over. This little adventure is drawing to an end. I'm just really, honestly, quite stressed about the journey that we're about to have to do. I'm worried about having to navigate the gauntlet of the fish. Because that would be horrifyingly embarrassing, right? If I picked up the warp core, got to the bramble, they got eaten by an anglerfish. I think I'd cry, to be honest. But I'd not even think. I just straight up would. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna face this way. We're gonna wait a minute. And it's way to be able to access the tower anyway. It feels like both an age and only yesterday since we started playing this, since we started discovering everything, since I first saw everything this game has to offer. It's just incredible. Genuinely, and I, I'm not just saying that for dramatic effect or because I've got nothing left to say. It has been such a long time since I've had a game or any kind of media affect me in the way that Outer Wilds has. There's been films that have made me cry. I don't think a game has ever actually made me cry before. I've got an emotional over a game before, maybe. Like, what do I even think? What games have made me cry before? Or emotional? Uncharted, I think. Some of the Uncharted games before have made me feel a little bit emotional. The Last of Us. The Last of Us. And I'm really excited that it's, this kind of opened a doorway into a different kind of gaming that I didn't even know kind of existed. This real deep philosoph philosophical kind of way of gaming. People get different things out of this game, I know that. There's some people that really like it because it's space, and there's some people that really like it because it's puzzles, and then there's people like me that love having their emotions smushed into a ball. These guys nailed it. They really did. And I know no matter how hard I try to find a game that's remotely similar, I'm not going to. And I think that's the beauty of this. And I think that's something that I keep going back to in my little noggin. I know a lot of people like to watch Outwilds Let's Plays um, after they finish the game. I genuinely don't know if I will. And I don't want that to come across as like selfish or self-centered or anything like that. It's not doing it because I'm not doing it because it's like, oh my god, I've done my channel series. Why would I want to watch anyone else's? I understand people want to watch things because they want to relive those memories to other people. But I think my personal journey with this is I want to hold on to these memories myself. That's what makes them beautiful because they're memories. They're, they are imperfect. They will fade. 
but the important bits of the memories, the feelings that you feel, you know, the emotions, they're still going to be here. That's kind of the fun. I'm excited to miss this. I'm excited to have a longing for it that can't be replaced. If it's not quite obvious by now, I have experience with that. But life is so much more beautiful, to me at least. When you know that it doesn't last. I'm happy there's no music playing at the moment. Well, I'm happy I just get to experience this quiet contemplation one last time. One final leg of the journey. And I hope I don't mess it up. I'm gonna have to get the coordinates as well. That's one thing that I was speaking of messing up. I was gonna, I was gonna get a little post-it note, write the coordinates on it, so I could have it here in front of me. But I realise I've gotten to do that, so I'm gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. I'm just gonna have to use my noggin and try and remember. Good luck to me, I guess. I'll be fine. We'll get the ship afterwards, and we'll do it that way. The ship is still there. The ship is still there. That's good. I made sure, at least, to park off the beaten path, because me, once upon a time, probably would have tried to park in the way of the sand column, and then gotten real confused when I get out with the walk call. Can you imagine that? Can you? Could you imagine that? Accidentally ending the game, because you remove the walk call. And then you're stuck here with nothing but your thoughts and a warp core and sadness. I'm guessing you can maybe pop it back in. I don't know if you could pop it back in. I'm getting really giddy and trying to talk too much because I'm scared, genuinely. We're finally doing it. We're doing it. We're gonna do it. Don't think about it, Sirx. Don't think about it. Right, we need to be so careful. We're mortal now. There's music. There's music. Um. One last hurrah, hey? The universe is... And I am. I'm ready. I'm so ready. Right then, you ugly mother trucker. 
Let's not mess this up now. Oh no, I need to go to the red. 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 I made a terrible, horrible mistake. Actually, no, I can maybe go that way. I can go this way, because there should be another red, right? There's got to be another way in. Oh! Right. I'm okay. I'm okay. Yep, okay, there's a red. Okay, that's good. We need to go to the red now. We can do this, Sturks. You have been training for this for so long. Okay, this is this is the busy one. This is the one where I've got to be hands off. And drift. Just keep drifting. Just keep drifting. Don't even look at them. Don't even acknowledge them. Don't even acknowledge them. Don't even acknowledge them. You acknowledge them. <laughs> acknowledge them. Ah! And now we drift. We drift, we've got loads of time. We've got 22 minutes. We don't quite have 22 minutes now, but we've got like... an amount of time. I can continue to drift a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Probably till I'm nearly at those eggs, I think. you there. Not now. I'm so afraid. This is everything we've been preparing for. Oh. I hope this works. If this doesn't work, I'm going to cry. I will just break down and cry. <laughs> Let's remove the vessel from there. Oh, I need, I need, I need, I need, I, 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 dude, dude. Um, I. Uh, where are you? Aha, right. Pen, paper, I have pen and paper. Pen, paper, pen, paper, 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 pen, paper, pen, paper, pen, paper. So, it's kind of like... That... That, that, that... That, 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 that. Cool, got it. I'm a pro. Can't forget it now. 
Got the suit. Got fuel. Let's go. The game knows. The game knows. Okay, how do we operate a derelict Nomai spaceship? You can get out of here. We don't need you no more. Breathe, my beauty. Breathe once more. You beautiful thing. Do I need... Oh, 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 okay, okay. I remember now, I need to put this here. Don't stress, don't stress, don't stress, don't stress. We're okay. So I need to go... Boo. 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 Yeah. Good lord, I hope I get this right. Boo. 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 Yeah. And then... Boo. 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 Right? Is that right? <laughs> we made it right do i need to oh i don't know about that oh i was kind of hoping i could explore the rest of the ship a little bit There's the quantum moon. At least I know she's here with me in spirit. Oh, sweet Jesus. That's some strong gravity. They're making sure you can't fly off into space. Is that screaming? I don't know about this, guys. I'm suddenly having... real... second thoughts. So many possibilities. And we're here. Is this the moon? a big old chunk where the moon went whoop. What the heck? I was kind of hoping I could just kind of get to this south pole and something would... I'm going to go up there, aren't I? Oh boy.
carry the Nomai with you. Carry everyone with you. This is for them. Home. As Wells Ventures was founded by Felsvar, Gossan, Slate, and Hornbells to explore a solar system at the end of the universe. The Nomai never got to see it for themselves. Thanks to their efforts and technology, the Harthian was able to reach the eye of the universe. Frickin' love museums. The radio tower in Zimbabwe was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite and house some of the best, some of the last ever photos taken of the entire solar system. One of these revealed the existence of an invisible ring world inhabited by a species whose presence in our solar system predated even the Nomai. This species travelled from a nearby star system in search of the eye of the universe, but horrified by what they discovered, decided to block the eye signal so that no one else could ever find it. One individual, however, rebelled against the decision and was able to briefly release the eye signal back into space or being caught and imprisoned in solitude for this betrayal. Thank you, Kapora. At the end of its lifespan, our sun collapsed under its own gravity and then exploded in a violent supernova. Of all the life forms who will perish in the oncoming death of the universe, we'll miss the anglerfish the least. The Nomai who came to our solar system were following a signal from the eye of the universe. They perished when the interloper arrived, bringing with it the deadly substance we called ghost matter that flooded the entire solar system almost instantly and without warning. This is really fitting. <clears throat> At the end of... When... My dad passed. He spent three days in hospital. He had a really, really severe heart attack. And he... Kept going into cardiac arrest, his heart gave out on him. And in those three days, he was. on painkillers. Most of his brain was already too damaged to do anything. But he could hold a conversation. And in his last moments, one of the few things he said, he was telling my brother something about making a cup of tea and not to burn the chips in the oven and to check if there was any ice cream. He was home.
He didn't die in a hospital, he died at home. So this is quite poignant to me, that at the end of the universe we're home. It's quite heartwarming. Now let's watch over everyone, shall we? <laughs> Where are we? We've gone home. And I could think of no better place to be. Good thing I'm really good at roasting a marshmallow. Hey. This. This is nice. Hello, old man. Yo! Did 
you hear music? I don't know. Let me in. It's um, it's not quite time yet. For sure, we need the others for this part. We'll need, you know, everyone. No rush. Take your time. Might not even exist here. Jimmy. Quiet shade. Cross old bar. Don't give me a puzzle when I'm crying. Oh. I get it now. I get it now. It's not a puzzle. You son of a gear. Oh my god. that instrument <laughs> Why do I go wrong? Hello Feldspar! One second, I'm tracking down the little drummer boy. Ah, what am I meant to do? Oh. Oh. Shirt. You may not necessarily be my favourite, but you can very quickly become my least. That's clever. No way. I would recognize that anywhere.
Ale keď pohľa. Yeah, bro. And if my memory serves me right, there should be one more to get. No, because I'm not meant to do that. Ah! I was not meant to... I know it's up there. I know it is. Ah! <laughs> We're going up. We're going up, up, up. Can't look far enough up. Making a little no my uppies. I don't know if I'm meant to be doing this, but I'm gonna keep going so I get all the no my's doing uppies. Oh my god, look at them! I, I can't fly this. I. friend when my kind found the eye and realized what it was capable of they were terrified it was too difficult the truth like a light's too bright to look upon directly it burned them what they could not unlearn was hidden away the darkness obfuscated the loss they did not want to see their story end my kind weren't always like this, we weren't always so afraid. I did what I could to set things right. But I am still of my kind, and you know now what they did. I cannot promise our fear won't stay in your mind. 
And so a choice. Are you certain you want to remember me? For a second. Of course I can remember you, and I always will. I don't want to repeat my kind's mistakes, but if you're willing to take the risk, so am I. Mistakes are part of life's journey. It makes it all the sweeter. I talk to you now as well. A conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time to find out? Not yet. Then I will wait until you are ready to know the answer. Shall I begin? No, not yet. I don't think there's anything left to go supernova. Let's see what they all say. Okay, I'll wait till you're ready. You can start. I won't let you down. Ready to start the music? Go on, Kippur. Been there to hope that anyone would hear the signal, but briefly I set it free, yet here we are. Are you ready for the final step? Then it is time, time to send our spark out into darkness. The song is new to me. I wanted to be a part of it. We reach the end of our journey. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. It's tempting to linger in this moment while every possibility still exists, but unless they're collapsed by an observer, there will never be more than possibilities. How beautiful. Different than I envisioned. Whatever happens next, I do not think it is to be feared. How long has it been since I got to make music with everyone around the campfire? I'm really happy we're all here. Thank you all. I admire your curiosity, friend. 
Let's find out. Together. Do I go in it? Now you get to see any of the mods that I've been using. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to all these amazing people and all the hard work. I think it's safe to say you'll all be remembered. And that the whole community will take these forwards. I feel such a sense of relief. Like a weight's been lifted. This is why this was recommended. I'm just going to take a moment to enjoy the music. This song is new to me. But my god, am I enjoying it.
all these people knew what this game was going to be. I can't thank you enough for everything, for the journey, for the support, for the love. Because of what a journey it was. Was everything I hoped it would be and more and we're done it's over and that's okay it's all gonna be okay thank you so much for the love and support thank you for watching Thank you for joining me on this little adventure. And all I have to say now is I think it's time you wake up.